Welcome to Three Guys and a Brit, an international podcast where we go over many subjects. As usual, I am Jerko along with Jeej, Windu and Cayman. Now today we're going to talk about Disney, as in Disney as in a whole company, right? Now, but before we start, let's, before we start, let's give a shout out to our top comments on YouTube. Shout out to Oto, Styles IRL, Pete Damar for great conversation they started. So if you want to check check those videos, go out to our last video and you should be able to check him out so anyways let's go ahead and talk about disney so what do you guys want to talk about let's go yeah actually uh let me let me let me throw a, a little two cents in there real quick right mm -hmm. Can i just say during this conversation about disney i'm going to have very convoluted feelings as somebody that has actually worked for the mouse for a certain period of time right I think I'm the only one out of us that has actually worked for Disney before. Yeah, I'm, mm -hmm. I've never been to Disney, so. At all. I ain't never been to. Like, okay. never at all. Even my time I lived in Got California. Now I've, you know, I was never, not too far from Florida. But yeah, I've never been to Disney, so. Okay. So, I don't know, man. Like, I'll start off by saying Disney, like, I've, I've always liked Disney. Like, I, I haven't really ever had issues with them. Then again, that's also from the perspective of a kid growing up watching the movies and shit. But as an adult, learning more about them as a company, some of their beliefs and stuff, kind of weird. You know, like it's a. Um, Go ahead. My bad. I mean, I grew up. I, I I grew up watching Disney, right? Now Disney movies in general, and sure, bro. Still, Lion King is one of my favorites. You know, what I mean, sure, hey, bro, yeah, top clutch of movie, right? Mm -hmm. Um, but. Um, growing up, I didn't really pay much attention to a lot of shit that they were doing and everything. But recently, over the past few weeks to months, I would say, I've been hearing a lot of chit chat about it. So I don't know. Uh, it's going to be interesting as to what you guys have heard compared to what I have heard. And, you know, just talk about it in general. So what about you guys, uh, Jeej and Caveman? I mean, I like I said, I grew up uh, like uh, probably any anyone as a child grew up in the '90s. They, you know, they lived on Disney. You know what I mean? That was mm -hmm. that was their thing. So my only thing is with Disney is I just know about the movies. I try to stay out of that that weird stuff. Like I mean, I've heard there's all the stuff you heard. Like I said, I've never been there. This is just going off of mouth, like word of mouth. So dude, it's like a literally like literally like Disney, it's its own city. Mm hmm I like the Vatican, bro. Like they really uh, <laughs> like I'm telling you, like as somebody that's worked there before, you hear shit that you don't believe, right? But like for example, when you're actually in there, they do have it's kind of like there, at least until recently. Let me speculate there, right? They had like their own little government in there. They had their own you know their own judicial system so to speak they had their own law enforcement their own jails their own zip code within florida they were like their own little entity like the vatican the kind of like hey it's still in florida but totally separate like you can't do shit there now yeah. and and it's been like that for a while it really has been like that for a while like a lot of people just really didn't care like yo they're disney we're making a lot of they're making a lot of money but I they're also entertaining us you know I just looked at it as a theme park, bro. I didn't even think about it like a whole Vatican City bullshit. Like, this is first for me to hear shit like, yo, they got their own bank. They got their own judicial system. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, bro, what are they trying to do? Become a fucking country. At this They're point, trying to shape our culture, movie. you know? Like, well, when they I, are. As a kid, we watched, you know, Disney movies. That was like, you know, how everybody grew up, you know? And it shifted from time from when they first started to where they're at now they're completely different they have this power structure that is shaping our humanity you know now they have this woke agenda they want to introduce um you know the the uh, homosexuality on the lgbtq community which is cool i believe in inclusion but the thing the things that they're doing um is shaping our next generation our kids coming up now you know they're yeah. thinking differently you know cool. we're we're not allowed to be men anymore you know what i'm saying so it's a lot of this shit that they've done that has slipped under the rug you know this agenda that they've had since the very beginning 
and everybody's just kind of like, oh no don't worry about it it's just for kids you know it's a theme park they're harmless well i got now two things on with- that though i don't mean to interrupt you but i got two things on that one of them is have they ever i know there was talks but have they ever done uh i know when they were doing their whole like live like they did the not live but like the real animation of like lion king they did the jungle book you know what I mean? about the live action films yeah mm-hmm. like they did stuff like what that about it i know that i know there was talks when they were talking about doing pocahontas mm-hmm. but they never touched on that like if you start looking back into um some of the movies as a kid like as kids i started noticing like as i go as i grew up and like watching these movies with my nieces is some of that sh- stuff was kind of racist you know what I mean? Like I, heavily racist. I got. I got to say that it was different times for sure. But you're not wrong, right? right. Like I, I was watching Pocahontas. It, it's funny that you mentioned it. Actually, I was watching Pocahontas with uh, with my girl and our baby. You know, just to kind of put Disney movies on for her and everything. And I'm, and we're watching it, and you know, like they say some like crazy shit, like these savages and stuff. And and I get it. Like it's very accurate some of the fucked up shit that was back then but they do shed some light on that and you know like throughout the movie they shed some light that it's like hey they're normal people just like us and etc yeah, yeah which i'm i don't know like i would kind of say i'm okay with the borderline reality that they painted back then because it was a reality and they're trying to break that down even though for today's standards it's a little bit too too but direct they won't, is that why they won't do the live animation of like Ponoka Hannes. I think it's a too live touchy action, of a mean? subject. Yeah, or live action. That's what I mean. Is it too touchy of a subject? I don't. I, I mean, mean, I don't think it it would be. Like we've seen. I can. Like, I can. No, nah, I mean in the culture. Because I mean, you take it. Look at like I look at it this way. I look at like uh, the Washington Football Team, or now Washington Commanders, formerly known as the Washington Redskins. Yeah. Or formerly known as the Cleveland Indians. Now they're. I can't remember what they are. So they're trying to pull that off. Like, um, I even seen as a guy, like, as I'm a sports fan. So like, I even seen them trying to pull the Florida State Seminole stuff out of there. Um, you get like some other like Chicago Blackhawks. They're trying. They were trying to pull their logo and their stuff off of that. So like, like I said, I grew up. I grew up close to an Indian reservation, you know, and all that. So like. I hear their side from it, but it's the same time. Like, is are we in that time period where that's just too touchy of a subject? Maybe. Like, it is. Man, yeah, maybe. maybe. I can see it. it. Really is. They might not want it. that whole political nightmare that is a possibility when they easily have a whole other list of franchises that they can milk and make more billions. You know, like. But I mean, Pocahontas was a classic. Yeah, time. but it, like, but like for example, you saw when they did the live action Mulan. Mm-hmm. They they did the live action Mulan, but they made a weird choice on that one of not including any of the original songs, no score, or nothing. They just made it a flat out movie, right? And then try to keep it uh, like as accurate as possible as before, while simultaneously not like they took out the whole Mushu the dragon thing, which Disney could easily. I've thrown an animated dragon in there oh yeah you get me it's not gonna be eddie murphy but yeah, <laughs> but no, they, i thought that was kind of off too well but, but that's what i'm saying like they tried to reconvey the story but i mean a lot of people know and in case anybody listening here doesn't know disney has made billions off of retelling other people's stories right mm-hmm. including cinderella including stories yeah 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 like, like just Lion king that's what I'm saying. Like they're they're known for it, right? But at that at the, at the end of the day, let's say more with the um, with Mulan specifically, they they're like, okay, so we're going to make a live action. They had great success with Beauty and the Beast. They're like, hey, we're going to make a live action of Mulan. But then at that point, it's like, hey, some of this shit is kind of edgy. We didn't really have edgy mm-hmm. shit in Beauty and the Beast. Well, uh, well, Mindu, it's the reason why they kind of scaled back on the. Oh God, I hate to sound it, but like on the 
Asian, like like Mushu and all this stuff. They really wanted to kind of scale it back because more to the roots. Disney's a Chinese company. The Chinese China controls everything. Like we were talking about earlier, America's for sale, and guess who's buying it up? The Chinese. So is so is Disney. Disney has no. Power. I mean, Disney's a California the Chinese agenda. But Disney's a California original company. Oh, but even though they got fingers in that. I mean, oh my God, Disney has their fingers things worldwide. Have things have anything, changed. You know, you're talking about movie, back in the '60s. Anything with movie related, China has their their fingers in Hollywood. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Think about yeah. think about all these new, like man, it's it, it, okay. I'm I mean, all with progression, but now we have what is that that Shang Shan Hao or whatever that Shang-Chi. Name, Shang-Chi. that Shang-Chi. guy right? So they have that that, that was a pretty cool movie actually. Thing. and then they did uh, Raya and all these Chinese. That Raya was pretty fire too. It's fire! It's fire because that's their job. Their job is to entertain us, and they do mm-hmm. a good job about it. You know, but the thing is the agenda that they're pushing. If you go back, there is this cartoon. It has Donald Duck visiting the 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 doctor, right? So Donald Duck sits on on the bed and the doctor's checking him out. If you look to the right hand side towards the back, there is a chart. You know, one of the vision charts where the, you have to read the letters or whatever the little yeah. shame. And in the letters, it says "Ask about Illuminati." In the cartoon, but, bro. I this had no idea this existed, but I would. I, got, I, will shit, I mean, they, they, like, yeah, they look it up. <laughs> I know for I a fact that there's a big like I Disney mean, conspiracies and stuff. Di- like, there, there's God, millions Disney of videos on those online. Though Disney, Walt Disney personally did propaganda for the Nazis in 1930, whatever. And there's cartoons, bro. You can pull them up on YouTube where they were doing propaganda, and there were the the Nazis. We're playing that for their kids so they can grow up to join the army and fight the war, you know? So it's all like, again, man, we're all entertained and that's all good, but what's really going on behind the scenes, you know, they're, we're being told this story. They're telling us how, how we, we need to change as men that we need to be more feminine and all this crap, which is cool. I'm again, I'm all growing. I mean, I'm all with growth for, for the recent lifeline uh, li- limelight on Disney at the minute. Anyway, it's like the whole woke shit that they're trying to fucking push. Right. And it's, I, I just, sometimes I sit there and wonder like, why the fuck as a company would you want to do shit like that like just leave it be just be let let what you wanted to portray that's what you portray because Stop what trying to i was about to say that like, he, 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 she does a good point but it's not just that you got to be mindful whenever like especially as content creators right whenever somebody has influence over others that's a very powerful weapon that's a very powerful tool it could be as simple as hey i get you to buy an energy drink or i get you to buy a shirt mm-hmm. But that's also pushing political agendas like cavemen is saying like at the end of the day if we like you know how powerful it is to even slip something as small as a, a simple hand gesture that could mean something to change the entire meaning of a movie but they can slip it in there and then change the perception and that's going to reach millions maybe billions across the entire world because correct me if i'm wrong I know at least when I worked there, Disney was the second largest entertainment company in the world. They got everything from ESPN. They got, um, what was their, their acquisition with X-Men? Was that Fox? No, not Fox. Yeah, yeah Fox. Uh, no, is it? No. Yeah, 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 yeah it was Fox. It was Fox, Fox. Right? Yeah, it's Fox. So, yeah, yeah. bro, they, they got their hand in the fucking cookie jar, by all means. But uh, I want to talk about a, a little detail here that so disney like we said we they've gone over under the radar quite a bit nobody really bothered them it's like hey you do you you're a private company whatever right um it wasn't until recently here in florida specifically that disney started becoming a little bit more vocal about their woke agenda and started kind of fighting a, a bill that if i'm not mistaken was passed in the state of florida and that basically the bill prohibits sexuality in general to be talked about from like i think it's like from fourth graders down or fifth graders and below right like young kids hold on so the bill in general is just it's just saying hey we here in florida 
Like, we understand sexuality is a thing. Kids can be gay, bi, straight, whatever, all, all throughout the spectrum, right? Like, we understand that that can happen. But Florida as a state would rather not have that conversation be had before these kids even reach their teens. Like let let that for like like in like Joker's terms kids. secondary or let that for high school and stuff like that, right? Like yeah, like, like kids. you don't like especially in the in the day and age where kids are so absorbent of knowledge and information and that information that they get molds them. Be like, hey. If that's a choice that they want to do, that's fine. Let them do it. But if if we throw a couple seeds and then throw water into a garden a little too early, you're then going to ask me, oh, I wonder why this garden is filled with apple trees. Yeah, it's because we planted those seeds early. Right. And Florida is just saying we're not we're not going to approve of planting seeds early. If it happens, it happens. But don't don't teach our kids about this when they're too young. Mm. Now, unfortunately, this bill got a a media name you know how the media sometimes they start throwing little jargons and stuff the media has been calling it the don't say gay bill and that's not that's not even what it is it's just the overall let's skip this conversation for little kids but is that is that why i see those billboards on the side of the road now that i moved down to florida where this one of them says like it's big yes. bold letters i can't remember what interstate it is about to talk about gay or something like that but it's it's a big bowl of letters just black and white black letters it's okay to say gay yeah that's that would be directly countering the bill for example oh, okay. And, okay, and, okay. and 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 here's the thing like there's also an exception too that just because disney's saying don't teach it don't talk about this subject to really young kids that doesn't mean you can't talk about the subject to older kids you get me mm -hmm. that doesn't mean grown-ass adults aren't allowed to talk about the you know their their whether they want to be heterosexual homosexual etc the whole spectrum but at the end of the day because of the media calling it don't say gay bill now you have the entire spectrum is like oh florida is trying to prevent us from speaking and trying to be gay and stuff and then disney hopped on that woke agenda and then disney fucked with the wrong state bro like, yeah, yeah. like, like, I, like, like, yeah, like, you're gonna, you're gonna find out, Jeez, because you just moved to Florida. Uh, but uh, I know, I know, Florida is redder than all red, bro. Don't get me wrong. I was about to say, Caveman knows this wholeheartedly too. Florida is not a state to be fucked with by all means. So the moment that Disney stepped in and started dumping millions as to opposing this bill and everything, advertisement, etc., the state of Florida then said, "All right, you want to fuck with us?" we're gonna hold you accountable now like hey we were letting you slide under the table for quite a bit but now you're fucking with us now you're gonna come up to the table and i was like hey first thing we're gonna do you are no longer your own separate entity like we've been allowing you like the vatican now we're gonna pass a bill you are gonna be a part of florida just like every other business now you're gonna have to pay taxes like every other business Good. for for everything right now you're going to have to be held for, you know, like all the other laws and bills that get passed, et cetera. It's like, hey, now, multi now you got millions for Florida, bro. That's what I'm saying. That's millions and billions of income that's now has to get transferred to Florida, too, because before they were kind of doing their own thing. And I was like, hey, now you have to abide by everything else. So. Do you think it's make... good, man? No, if we all no, have well, to pay on. taxes, you pay taxes too. You know? Yeah, but now here's the here. thing, though. With that, uh, at the end of the day, I know it will probably never happen, or we'll probably never see it in our lifetime. But would that, with all this fight, would that make Disney pull out of Florida? No, I don't. I, think I, I still don't I say so. The taxes like, me, are too good, let man. Me, I'll, I'll tell me, you. Let me. I'll tell you three reasons why they won't. But go ahead, Joker. Before. Yeah. So like just by the fact like as any business would do when a business grows in a one particular area right and they're well known for that area and they have established the name from that area to the other side of the world internationally for example right there is no way a company as big as that would pull out of florida it does not make sense viably because everyone knows the first thing when you think about disney is they're already associated to florida right now if you right. come out of that state Right. And then after it was like, oh, Disney just moved to, I don't know, Las Vegas, for example. You'll be sitting there like, 
why the fuck did they move from Florida to Las Vegas? That shit don't well, make no sense. I was ready to go. I was ready to go. I made all these plans to go to Florida just to see Disney World. Like, you know, I understand, I understand that, also, but, that's, but that's what I'm saying. Like, it's if Florida is giving this much big of a pushback and they're fighting with Disney, but, all right. But, but wouldn't that be? But wouldn't that be a bigger like? Slap no, it's not. Florida it's, because it, now, because now they lose a revenue, they lose a tourist, they lose but, tourist see, revenue. See it's a it's a whole area they established that business in a, such a grand scale now moving from that state or wherever it is to going to a different thing or they, putting it but somewhere, they don't need to, they don't need to move to a different state they can I'm, just, I'm just overbuild, saying, I'm, they can overbuild in california yeah but how much money does that require to build the same scale or do the same kind of a business in a different an issue, state though. Money's it's not, an, not issue. an issue. I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying it's an issue. What I'm saying is, it's a step back for them as Disney because but, they rather but, carry on, and they carry on because they can make money regardless, right? Money is not an issue, like you said. Uh, it can do it, but for oh, no. them, the but generation. They, like, are, they already have an establishment in California, so it's mm -hmm. not like they're gonna have to rebuild. They can just say, "Well, you know what? California is gonna play a ball in my agenda," which we all know California yeah, but is very big it in can, that agenda. It can back you have to Very understand woke. it can backfire it can backfire for them too in case it goes that way and they decide to do all of this now again the similar kind of an issue happens over there and then afterwards the governor of california be like you know what you're fucking with us again so it will entail as it goes along and it's not viable for them to keep doing it however what they can do is counter it in a many different ways do you know what i mean so i, I don't know how they might do it but they can counter it as a business I, I, as a large grand scale business as it is i would say nah you know what i mean like i wouldn't move it but we can try and see if we can play them at their own game kind of thing well the thing is disney has already expanded they're already in japan they're in china mm -hmm. worldwide you know they're, they're again you're talking about you know just a small mom and pop shop or just a normal company we're talking about something that's ingrained in you and i to be part of our lives we all he, joker can can think about lion king he goes straight to his childhood mm -hmm. you know it's in our dna now you know and that's the thing is that they're, they're moving on from just making movies and theme parks to changing how our kids think about themselves thinking about the future and thinking about how how they can just change everything man they have they have their hands and so many other things that that they're beyond these physical parks and these things mm -hmm. well, I yeah mean, they're never going to leave disney world's never going to go because the tax breaks here in florida are too good man good. we have no yeah. state mm -hmm. income tax so yeah we're still we're you know? still better than most states as far as taxes yeah, and stuff like like that but you just got to be mindful you got to be mindful they went from being tax exempt for the longest mm -hmm. because they were their own district like the vatican etc right and now and so like so like i was saying because they picked the fight that they probably were well equipped to fight but didn't expect mm -hmm. florida to bite back like the governor and everything mm -hmm. like the governor said like yo disney usually gets what they want right mm -hmm. But where the governor said, we're not going to let a California based woke led company try to run our state. If you guys want to run, if you guys want to play ball in our state, then you better make sure that you're in the fucking field like the rest of us. So then, so they removed the tax exemption and everything, which is like a double sided thing. Cause now they have, they pay taxes, right? While, but while simultaneously all the debt that Disney has accrued, which is almost a billion dollars now gets also distributed into the two counties so now those counties have that debt also because they're part of the county so it is a double-edged sword at the end of the day but well maybe but it's the circle of life but it's the circle of life <laughs> but it's the circle of life though because then now you should really sit down and think about it so how much now this is just from putting my tin hat on um where the glass is at <laughs> conspiracy glasses go all right yeah. so <laughs> it's how much money does disney actually contribute to the politician of go of governorship of florida so is this actually with this governor punching back at disney could we see this governor winning another another term election 
because now that he's fighting with the biggest the deepest pockets of florida i mean i'll be honest with you bro this is also a governor that's also speculated to run for the presidency because of everything that because of everything that he's doing in florida definitely in presidency but i'm saying is because now that he's you remember disney is here 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 you know what i mean like they own they have they're not owned but they have their little tidbits all through all these other like sub companies uh offshore companies so like how much I, that's my this is a question I mean, we'll never know because that's just part of the politics that we'll never know is is how much money is actually spent on candidates but if so, he's planning to run for presidency though how much of that if he's a florida-based president all right coming from governor of florida what's the biggest company that you can think of that's in florida is disney disney you would he would win a presidency of being backed by disney so is this kind Ooh. of like him taking a step back by trying to fight with one of the biggest companies in his state. I mean, maybe because um, I think now it's bigger than just Florida, you know, because think about it like this. Did you came from New York and you live down here now? How many mm-hmm. other people that are stuck in New York, stuck in California, wish they could come down here? They're going to vote for DeSantis if he puts his 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 name in the hat, you know, 2024. They're going to be like, damn, we need a president like him that is willing to say fuck you to the establishment and do something. That's a big move of the state. Yeah. And he don't need no company. He doesn't need any. All DeSantis has to do is just sit there and put his name in the hat, bro. This whole pandemic has won the election from him, you know, because the rest and of the United did, States wants to be like Florida. Woke shit. Oh, no, but I understand like, that. But it's. No, here's the thing, though. I don't see DeSantis getting the 2024 bid. Where I see DeSantis getting it is the 2028 bid. Mm. Maybe. I don't see. I don't see. Because so, here's I don't the thing. Even see Biden hold on. Into no, 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 <laughs> but no, hold on, hold on. But before we veer too off, because then we're just going to get into politics and elections and stuff. So it is worth mentioning, and I looked it up. So Disney employs 38 lobbyists in Florida's capital. Each election cycle, the company gives generous campaign contributions to Florida candidates on both sides of the political aisle. Like you get me? Like so and on the wrong side. So they're dipping into both pockets. So as far as like, hey, whoever wins, remember to take care of us, sort of vibe, right? right? Of course. Now it's also it also says on here, and this is the New York Times stating that Disney, as, as in the Central Florida tourism economy annually generates more than five billion dollars worth of uh, worth of income and that's five billion dollars that they weren't taxed before but are now taxed on you get me the one mm, that's huge for the state of florida in general but here's my thing though that's a big loss over them florida they still had to have paid federal tax well they so they were paying in federal taxes and stuff but so it's weird. There's no it's official just, state tax, but whenever they're part of the state, all of the businesses still kind of get like a little so business tax, so to speak. There's a business yeah. state. There's like a business state tax, but there's not a popular civilian state tax. Correct. Okay. So, okay. If, but if anything, businesses still go clean here in Florida. Like the way that Florida oh, is, it's, like it's it, yeah, yeah. At the end of the day, it's like they're not paying taxes in the state of Florida. But in its own, I mean, and one of the other reasons that Florida, they're not going to go anywhere from Florida, Walt Disney back in the day, whenever he made the California location, he was like, hey, this is my dream, but this this place is too small for what I want to do. Like he was thinking way, way big. And this is a Disney employee inside of me, but way back when. Right. So they said, we're going to buy and I got to hear 25,000 acres in center florida nobody wanted it it was swamp lands you get me like it was sand nobody wanted to build on sand and shit yeah so he got it for the low low way back then and that's why another reason why they've always been so favored in florida because they basically helped like florida's economy is what it is big part because of disney well that's what i said earlier because of, and that's why i said if they ever if it came down to these blowing punches where they're like <laughs> Fuck you all, let's go to California. It's it just doesn't hurt it, yeah, it hurts the state of Florida. 
but then it, you got to think about how much more it actually hurts the state of, of Florida because now you're losing tourist revenue. You're losing your employees. Now you probably have, what is it? I want to say at least a 300, 400,000 employees, maybe more than that. Something like that. Bunch. Right. So now let's just round it off to an even 500,000 employees out of jobs because they pulled out of Florida. It's you're going to watch Florida go like this and Disney's like, okay, see ya. You know what I mean? That's why it's like, it would be if Florida wants to keep slapping Disney in the face, the biggest but slap like- that you can see it is them say, we'll just go expand in California. I mean, well, because of the whole Florida thing, their stock prices fell too. Like by a couple percent, which isn't much, but it's massive. Sorry, Joker. Go ahead. I feel like I feel like there might be some kind of repercussions for that, just for moving out. I don't know, like how the work, how it works over there, but like majority of the companies, if they decide to do that, all of a sudden and just go buy, yeah, there'll be some kind of repercussions, not only from um, the government, but also from within the board itself, right? There's got there's so many executives in the board will be sitting there going like, look, bro, listen, I have this investor from here, this investor from here, blah, blah, blah. There'll be some kind of repercussions behind it. So the, I wouldn't say that just because of that particular reason, they will just go by and get out from there. Well, because no. at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Well, you got to answer everybody. There's things. a board for everything. But that's, you know that's what I'm mean? saying. Like it's, it. That's why I said we won't see it like tomorrow. We won't see a headline come up. Disney closes Florida location. We won't see that tomorrow. Like no, if no, no, no. Like if we if it, if they decide to do it, it would be three, four, five years. And it's then their and their hope is okay. We but only they, got a couple they, more years. But here's the thing: they only got a couple more years of doing this, which they're only going to probably lose. Let's just, in a public, they're probably gonna lose five million dollars. Let's just say they're gonna lose listen, five million dollars. Listen, just for just like I'm just gonna give you just to close that um, park down, right? If Disney decides to do that, their stock market will go down, right? Their stock share prices will go down, especially. And also, the fact is that they'll be sitting there going, Well, if that's the case, then we have to recuperate some kind of money. It's not gonna look very, um, you know, favorable for public's perception. Right, as well as business entities and public perception, it's not going to look very well for them. They have an image to uphold, especially when you're hiring so many employees. They got so many things that go under that. It's not going to, you know, look very good for them. Their PR campaign will be trying to fight that shit off so much, and the media is just going to speculate the shit out of this left, right, and center, and it's going to blow back on them oh, in that way. I understand that, but it's. You also got to look at it this way too is if disney came out with an open statement saying we are leaving florida and we're looking for an open state all right and they come up with a statement and it's we're looking for a non-red state okay so here's the okay thing, no but right? hold on hold on they're looking for a non-red state so you know how many states would be like yep and they would just go like this they would just okay, go yeah, whatever that, you I, want I agree. I agree, but also the other states will look at it as this company has so much money behind them. They can in revenue, you know, generate so much revenue. So what they will do is they will double the asking price of them just moving over there, which Disney will be like, you know what, bro? I thought that'll be a good thing. There's going to be a lot of negotiation between the state and the company itself. you got to understand you like you just told me, um, Windu was just saying earlier, right? You know how much money that we're able to bring to that state just because they were there now knowing right. the potential that the other states will hold right just because of that i'm pretty sure they will put up on uh, put up the asking price a bit higher for disney to just well, go in there. disney no but disney's not going to go anywhere there's there's a couple of yeah. reasons here like you got to be mindful this is a five billion dollar business in florida alone that involves my math is going to be horrible right now over 12 different resorts uh, maybe more at this point because they're constantly building they literally just built a star wars resort that's an all-inclusive immersive experience two thousand dollars for the weekend you get to pretend that you're in a in a spaceship and shit like that for the whole weekend oh, yeah. but anyway over over 12 resorts they got over four major theme parks they have at least 
two different water parks, everything from malls, resorts, them moving their entire operation will cost billions, first of all. Billions. Second of all, Florida is one out of maybe a handful of states that is is very very lenient as far as taxes for businesses there's a handful of them texas being another one right but most of those states are a specific color you, you feel me oh, on, on the second side you got to consider weather too there's a reason why businesses park. theme parks that thrive the most sea world etc are in warmer climates because they can run year round they don't have snow fucking them up you get me like it, like the locations are prime locations well yeah but they're prime locations but that's also saying there's a blue state that we all know well as let's just say arizona okay mm, like i said arizona's more like red said, right no say, arizona's yeah. really blue arizona and new mexico really? even new mexico you can go well, let's say new mexico, mexico. So I say even even if they're blue, right? But then it, it be, be mindful. Even if they implement going to a state that now tells them, hey, now you got to pay state taxes on top of everything that you're throwing in there, right? For a five billion dollar business, even five percent is a lot of fucking money. Mm. A lot Almost of fucking dollars. money, bro. A five. Okay, so even quick math, right? Even a billion dollars, five percent is gonna come out to fifty million, and that's year around every single year, constantly paying that shit. Like, bro, no, but, but it's just thing. But fifty million to Disney, I, I, I get it. It, it might, I get it. It might be pocket change, but they're still not gonna do it. Oh, I understand that. But I'm saying, like, if they decide to do it, they could. You, you know, as an entertainment company, as a wild, uh, you know, big scale entertainment company as Disney is, they probably have shit ton of fucking projects that they need to fund, right? And they got to support. 50 million is a whole TV show that just got canceled. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. So you got to understand, like, even the small pocket change is used probably for something, for like a project that they got upcoming or anything like that, that's funding the whole entire shit. And if you take that away, it's like, yeah, all right, bye. This well, entertainment that we were going to provide for you but, is gone now but that's why i think, also said that, that's why i also said like with california they don't have to re-establish in california they could literally you, where, where where is disney in california like what, like what city? it's in anaheim, anaheim. LA, all they yeah. honestly all they have to do is say you know what we're gonna move to sacramento we're gonna put a location in sacramento and they could, so, they already have everything there and they could really just own multiple multiple massive locations or uh, just build off of Anaheim. The, Bro. the thing is oh. that if if Disney pulls out, let's say, let's just let's play it out. Let's say they leave Florida. Well, don't forget how this would affect worldwide too if they make changes like this. Well, I mean, the way I'm looking at it is is like when the US pulled out of Afghanistan i know it's like super like whoa but it's kind of the it's kind of the same because so? of the the cultural meaning that it has here in the state of florida again we're we're our our whole um image is built around disney but then you're also talking about the countless lives that depend people have their pensions have their whole life on that paycheck from disney so they pull out think about all the thousands of people that are going to lose work the 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 vacationing industry is going to go down because now all we have is, is freaking beaches which is great which is, is oh. a huge part of our revenue but then now they find another state that state all also has to do with the fact that they see the aftermath of disney leaving florida and the mess that they left behind now what if they decide to leave that state like let's say they, they want to go to fucking arkansas for whatever reason and then they get tired of arkansas they want to move somewhere else they want to move to canada they're going to have to deal with the same effects. All these unemployed people, all this, this massive hole that's left. Do you guys know what General, such a huge, so, do you guys know what General Motors is? GM, yes. yeah. Company. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but I'm saying like just in a hole. Um, right. The reason I say that it's not, it's not impossible for a, a billion dollar company just to say, we're out in New York where I grew up, just in a little small town, there was a massive GM plant. 
literally yeah but 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 you're about to go into something totally different like it's oh no no. what i'm saying is it was literally it was overnight they said we're closing this location done yeah it was overnight with disney being worldwide they use the joker said they're okay man they have stuff in japan china they have locations in europe paris yeah but but that's what i'm saying it's not the issue but what i'm saying is but what i'm saying is is it reason why disney won't move is because it's too much of a staple or i would say so uh, let me let me bring this up because i think we're also maybe looking over a very big thing that disney making these choices being um be becoming a more public woke company right mm-hmm. it has an effect worldwide but not just on the disney company like i pulled up a list here real quick just uh just in case you guys didn't know so disney fully owns marvel lucasfilm abc touchstone pictures pixar hollywood records core publishing they got 80 percent stake in espn 50 percent equity holding in a and e the history channel and lifetime you get me like and those are just some on, on top of that if you actually consider everything from the disney movies the marvel franchise star wars franchises the muppets winnie the pooh the indiana jones pirates of the caribbean etc they have a worldwide influence congratulations to johnny depp by the way shout out to johnny Yay. depp for winning yeah for sure yeah but like but think about how these choices the staple that they're making are going to have an impact worldwide they're almost it's almost like they've turned themselves into basically the front runner of a major company standing up for lgbtq plus you get me the amount of support that they've gotten from that community as a whole and worldwide might honestly be worth the fallout of losing a you know a billion dollars you get me mm-hmm. especially with the way that the world is going like what is worse dealing with legislature dealing with senators and governors dealing with countries that because you know there's there's a lot of countries out there that are still 100 percent against lgbtq plus right yep like there's still a lot of countries out there like that take the take the um center like take this China, yeah. of the world which is indo indo pacific right like now this is when i say indo pacific it's like countries like india china indonesia all of that like they, some of the countries over there in that kind of in that in that part of the world right are still against lgbtq right and even in africa too like you know going over there he's still against lgbtq so i agree with windu on this one well i mean you know and I mean? and I'll, i agree with all that i agree with inclusion and and progress oh, yeah. in, in 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 society but but i draw a very hard line when it comes to now, okay, hey, you're a little boy, but you like to play with Barbies. So let's give you, introduce some hormones so we can make you a full girl because you feel a girl like you're a girl for real. And, but you're stuck in this yep. boy's body. And kids that's are, kids what- are confused. Kids are confused as shit. Just for the straight fact is that like, yo, do you want a guava juice or do you want an orange well, juice? That's, if you ask that's them that why... point, they can't even give you- an Hey man, I'm gonna be real with you. We could, we could take the jungle book as a perfect example have a kid raised by wolves and tell him he's a wolf his whole life he will think he's a wolf without even knowing damn right you feel me damn and right. and it's and it's one of those things that just using that reference oh well, yeah we're tarzan with the apes right so and i and i think those are good examples and to prove the point that the majority of the state of florida just is like hey we know what kind of influence i can have we just don't want to tell our kids hey you're a wolf are you feeling me it's like hey like if you're still discovering yourself tell your kid they're a wolf yeah like it's something if the parents do it but like the the second the the second grade teacher that happens to be lgbtq plus and there was there was actually um you know like news articles and shit like that that there was this you know there were middle school and elementary school teachers that were lgbtq plus promoting and talking about like hey 
I'm a, a, that individual is LGBTQ+, you guys might be too. If you guys want to explore into that, talk to me about it, etc. Which I don't think is a bad environment to have, but not for such young kids. No. If you have that in high school, that's a if different story. My kids ABCs, bitch. Stick to teaching yeah, my kids the ABCs. If they have any questions, thing. I'm a dad. I can I can let them what know. What was wrong? What was wrong with people finding out their sexuality when they went to college? Or you know what I mean? Like on your stuff own. like that. You're on your own. You're you're technically not an adult, but you're on your own. You know what I mean? That's you're not learning that at five or six. Now, like my niece told me the other day. Um, I don't know if you guys have if heard about this problem because I know you have you have kids in high school and like elementary and stuff came in, right? Yes, sir. All right. Have you heard about um them putting litter boxes inside the school? Litter boxes. Mm hmm. There's what? kids apparently in my niece's school. There's kids that um, and it's okay with their parents that they uh, identify as an as an animal they identify as a cat they identify as a dog a bird um and there's parents now this is goes along of Fuck there's God. something wrong with fucking parents they <sighs> protested and pushed for these places because of this um this lgbt plus movement and everything else that they identify as an animal that they had to put a litter box inside school bathrooms now this is also happening inside like i said my niece my niece is in fourth or fifth grade and they're putting litter boxes inside their bathroom because there's kids so there's, there's literally hold on hold on right. uh, told, hold on here I, here's what i'm gonna say and this is why I, again tying disney back into everything oh my god i'm okay with the statement that they're proving right i'm okay with what they're standing up for. but i think it's very important to address that with any subject there has to be a fine line. You get me? And at the end of the day, because you're going to have extremists on both sides that they need to have a fine line that those extremists should not be able to cross. And that being one, like, I'll be honest with you, like, if if a kid comes out and says, hey, I'm bi, I'm gay, you know, like lesbian, LGBTQ+, the whole, the whole shebang, right? Non-binary, whatever. If a kid comes to that conclusion of their own, I do believe, hey, support it, let them discover themselves, whatever they want to do, sure, why not? Don't teach the kids about it. Don't right. introduce that doctrine into their mindset, first of all. But then on top of that, like some of these parents that are like super woke and be like, my kid identifies as a fucking cat, so you guys should have litter boxes. Like, I'm gonna be real with you. Bro, it's like that it's person like, needs a psyche about imagine imagine me i'm coming to you guys because you're my homies right and if i turn around and say my kid wants to be a fucking lamp because he identifies himself as a fucking lamp right i'll be sitting there going where the fuck am i going wrong here bro just give me some kind of a fucking advice like but i don't know is. what the fuck to do here well, is, you know what i mean like i don't know how to well, approach this well, hold on hold on Let, let's just so talk scared. about the fact that well let's talk about the fact that let's say if you had a kid that randomly identifies as a lamp right which is pretty random at that point the question would be how did that idea how did that possibility get to your child who taught him that that was even an option was it the schools was it a media company like disney for example like who knows maybe he watched beauty and the beast and now out of nowhere this man thinks he's a french candlestick oh you get me like who the fuck knows if that works then I, I as a rich billionaire how about that how hey man that? speak it into existence it doesn't work but, that way, bro. It work that way. No, no, but you know, you, but, you can't be a fucking you know what goat. I mean? Like I can, but it's yeah, but it's one thing for a company like Disney to promote that environment, right? Like if somebody wants to believe it, whatever, right? Because they believe in the imagination and everything, right? But it's another thing to push the agenda. It's another thing to be like, hey, we not only support this environment, but we're going to start. You know, we're we're gonna start polluting the water a little bit, and that's a big company. They got their hands on a lot of streams. You get me? Like as parents, right? I, I, I honestly tell you, like if if my kid came, all right, forget the lamp. This is a different scenario. Now imagine this, right? 
I'm glad you said lamp, bro, because it, it could be a possibility. But go ahead. Like, imagine this, like, your kid comes in and be like, yo, I want to be a blanket. I'm a blanket today. You telling me that you're skipping out school and just be fucking laying on the bed all oh, fucking day? Go to school. No, you know what I mean? You, like, right, I don't understand. Like, we, like again, but like what Windows said, like, who the fuck has been put in this kind of thought processes in their brain from the get go that they can be a lamp or a fucking well, blanket? Bro, and I, and I think that's where Disney needs to tread carefully, because like I, like I said, it's. It's these crazy parents out there that are like, I support it. My kid's a blanket. Treat him like a blanket, right? Like, there, there's some crazy parents out there, but we have to be mindful that at the end of the day, there is a cause and an effect to everything, right? If a child has this effect, the question is, what was the cause to lead to this effect? Because I don't think a kid randomly wakes up one day. I'll take and this, this, man. I'll take like, you get me? Like, it's something that happens over time. And it might be a natural thing. Like, if it happens, it happens, whatever, right? There's a two different... There's a, there'll be a two different argument in this case right now. Oh, my kid wants to be identified as a blanket. I, I'm going to treat him like a fucking blanket. I'm going to put him in the washing machine. I'm going to fucking make sure that he's clean and everything. As soon as I do something like that, because I'm supporting that cause, right? right that, you you'll have the up. other side. You just say put him in a washing he's machine? He's yeah, a blanket, right? You want to be treated like a fucking blanket, right? Well, you fucking put him in the washing machine. Put him out to hang on the rack. What the fuck? Put it, imagine, <laughs> imagine I do this. Imagine I do this, right? And then you have the rest of the child services will get included in this right. shit. Well, Cops will get included is, in this shit. It's and real consequences like, to this bullshit, man. But what it is is because it's, it's what's in. It's kids are listening to other kids on social media. They're listening to their stuff on TikToks. So they're listening to stuff on Instagram. It's because who controls in. all that? Who controls all that, Jeech? Corporations like Disney. Yeah, bro. There's an agenda, so man. Speaking it's of the, speaking of the media, like we've talked about media like news outlets, but a media like Disney has way more influence because they subliminally imp implant all those thoughts and those ideas and stuff. You get me? Well. It's Talking about like the furry things, the kids want to be furries, and that's what they're calling themselves. They identify as a furry, and I know it means something different with the '90s kids. But I heard furry, I was like, that's really sexual. Like, you know what I mean? Like that's like that's like bestiality kind of shit. You know what I mean? But they're and it is. They just mask furries. it. They just wrap it up in a different in a different package. But there was a superintendent in one of the schools. He brought out the there was they had a meeting on it about this. The, the putting the cat boxes and stuff like that and allowing kids to be pet like that's because that's what they want they're a cat and the per superintendent came out and said when the staff meeting with parents and everything else there he's like okay if your child wants to identify as an animal it says right here in section 12 line b there's uh, no animals are allowed on school premises so if you're what a clap back what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, that that superintendent needs to be a lawyer. She needed to be on Johnny Depp's team. That was that shit would have ended faster. Yeah. So what the fuck? To be once identify as an animal, they are not welcome in on, on school grounds. So now you're leaving parents going, oh no no, you we pay school taxes. That's not my problem. Well, so hold on. You want to identify? Why shouldn't it? Let's put a litter box inside of a bathroom. Who has to clean that litter box? The fucking janitor. The janitor. Now you have janitors quitting the school because they're like, "Fuck you! I'm not cleaning human shit and out of a where box." Where do they put that 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 uh, kitter the kitty litter box? Where do they put it at? In the classroom? In the bathroom? No, in the bathroom. Oh, in the bathroom. In the, in the bathroom. Oh, so the now fuck? you have. So now you have kids. So, so even to say it's in the high school. So now you have in. Uh, even I don't I, I don't know if I think in some schools now they also have uh, the the um, the gender neutral bathrooms. I tell you what, when I was in high yeah. school, there was no door. You walked through yeah. a little fucking Z pattern fucking thing and you went to the bathroom. So yeah. right now you walk in and you see some fucking dude fucking squatting over a litter box. I'm sorry, I'm gonna fucking smack the fucking living shit out of him and give him a damn swirly. Well, but hold on, hold on, because. And that's just you because of the way that we grew up, right? Imagine a kid that doesn't know better sees that for the first time as like an eight year old or a seven year old, and it's like, is this supposed to be normal? 
Or how about this? Yeah, how about this? Dude's junk Am I supposed to do that? And over like, yeah. like, now some kids that is, seeing that kids is a junk. Like, there is a clear fine line. All right. So if my kid grows up and if he says that I identify as a gay man or a gay woman or, you know, I identify as a so and so. There are borderlines that I can accept, like bi, gay, you know, whatever it is. There's a borderline shit. That yeah, I like as, say, as far as it was like as far as sexuality, yeah. like I'm I'm OK accepting all those. Right. But I will say I still personally do believe companies like Disney and others. Right. Not just specifically them. We want to make sure that we generalize here. Companies like Disney and others are very responsible for some of these. I guess you could say doctrines, some of these behaviors happening like for example if i if i ask you what company do you know has made a movie for kids that where inanimate objects become our people and then they the real life but a kid might identify themselves with one of those talking inanimate objects pixar Disney. That, there, there's a lot of them but it's a downgrade but it's a downgrade because we we but, as human beings Right, we're we're far, we're smart. We're we're built to to become greater than what what this whole society is, man. So by downgrading you from now, you're not a human. Now you're a fucking lamp or a blanket. It downgrades your right. thinking, you know. And, well, and, and like I was saying, just go deeper into it. What like are are there movies for kids where you have a normal human falling in love and having a relationship with a beast? No, that there oh, is. Yeah, That's yeah, Beauty yeah, and the Beast, yeah, yeah. bro. <laughs> Legit. I thought, I thought, I thought you were saying. <laughs> well, saying no, no, I thought you were talking about like in real life. Like, no, no, I'm saying like movies, right? Yeah, are, yeah, are yeah. there movies that are literally just solely based off of animals, where a person is the animal, like, and and somebody like, can say, "Hey, I relate. I relate to that animal." You get me? Like there's there's a lot of them, and and it's not. I'm not. I don't want to go or be classified as the individual that's like, oh, so now animals can't talk or you're like, because I grew up watching these and etc. Like, and to an extent, I'm okay with all this, but I just I don't think people realize the impact that some of these movies have, I right? Agree. Because no, well, I mean, uh, we do. No, it's it's not. And, and the thing is that you're talking about we're we're watching a movie and we're 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 listening to a story, right? At the end of the movie, you can explain to your kid, "Hey, that was fun." It's right? just a movie. It's just a movie, and it stays there. Now these motherfuckers want to expand it and put it in the classroom and say, "Hey, listen, that's not a movie. You can be whatever the fuck you want to be." Which what you tell your kid, hey, if you want to be the president, if you want to be an astronaut, what do you want to do? Yes, that's cool. These are feasible things. I can't be a fucking lamp. I can't. Well, it's it's like, impossible. I you know. Guys, I want to change this to something. Uh, two other things here. Um, one good thing I do want to say about Disney, and you know, in a lamp place we talked about Mulan earlier, is they did do a good thing on uh, women empowerment. Yeah, I am a big. They've done strides on that, for sure. I'm a right. big believer in woman right. empowerment. Um, so when you see, uh, and even on the LGBTQ side, they've done strides there too, bro. Yeah, they did some. All right, yeah. yeah so yeah. if you take for sure, you take a female. She went in. She did what they called men's work, and she did it, even though she had to hide herself. But she did it, all right? Show that she was whatever. But another thing was, I was talking to one of my buddies. I don't know. I think I don't know if you guys were there or not. But it was uh, talking about that movie Red that just came out mm -hmm. with the, the panda. panda. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. that he was saying that he was his daughter wanted to watch it, and she was like four or five or six. It's a Disney movie. All right. You're not gonna read, you know, whatever. But he was talking to one of his other buddies about the movie, and they're like, "Yo, that's not. A, it's really not a child's movie." It's about like a, think about a girl it. coming to age, figuring herself out, etc. Yeah. And the panda is her time of the month. It's that the bigger the panda you are, the heavier flow, the smaller the panda, the smaller the flow, and everything else. And he watched the my buddy watched it with his wife, and they're like, "Yeah, we're not showing this to our kids. Like that, their our daughter's five years old. She don't need to learn about her menstrual cycle at five years old. Even though at a five year old, it's not gonna go." Oh, that's your period. You know what I mean? Like they're not going to know about that. Right. But 
talking about it in schools uh the teacher had a movie day and they played the movie red for her kindergarten or first grade class and that day after that day when they, they watched that movie her dad's like yeah we, i'm sorry honey, you can't watch that movie she's like oh but i already watched it we watched it and we watched oh, it in school shit. so it's these teachers either not knowing not knowing not caring or intentionally not, sharing is what it comes down to that. or over crossing because, the line man and that's what uh, that's, that's the other thing the it is but why would my thing of it is is why would disney all right i know what you're you're trying to make on a concept because disney's trying to attach to preteen, trying to attach to teens just so, growing children in general like their target children, audience like, has always been adults. little kids even adults all right so the movie red yeah that 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 plays a little bit into that preteen, you know where they're finally starting to get maybe they're starting to get their monster cycle they're getting their first one and it kind of relates to them but you're disney you're going to reach you're going to attract a very younger crowd no matter what you're putting out there so in I'll my eyes this, that was a very inappropriate movie in my opinion I have, I've right. seen. Well, the thing is that Disney phone. also recognizes that most parents, and I would say most, well, I would say a large portion of them, aren't doing their fucking jobs. So what they're doing is they're kin- they're sticking their kids in front of a screen, putting a movie on, and let Disney raise them. Disney is is educating and raising. They know mm-hmm. the TV and the phones and everything else is raising our kids, and they know this shit. So they're going to put subliminal subliminal messages in their movies so these kids learn and their their brain receives that without even knowing it. You know, so they can they can teach our kids whatever the fuck they want and they're well, doing it, bro. I I I but I I think it can actually go even like I, I, like even deeper cuz hold on cuz I'm not I'm going to say it's not just Disney that's doing it as a company, right? Because I can bring up the example of Moana. Moana is an amazing movie. For example, for my daughter to see, that's all about somebody that feels like they're trapped, feels like they can't be more than what they are, right? A movie that has to do with a lot of self-doubt, building that self-confidence, re-going out to, you know, going to places that you never thought you would go, experimenting. Like, you get me? Like, you could literally dive deeper into it, but I would, yeah, yeah. I would be okay with my daughter watching Moana. I wouldn't, I wouldn't look at moana the movie and be like yeah my daughter's immediately going to want to become a man array you get what i'm saying Mm -hmm. like there, like there's ways that they've subtly implemented certain messages and stuff like that but it's still okay you get me but there's other instances like the movie red that we're talking about where it's a little bit more obvious like a little like a little too obvious in my opinion like i know full-grown adults that grew up watching spongebob never realized any of the dirty ass fucking jokes that were in spongebob growing up until they rewatched it as an adult like and I they said, were like what the oh, fuck yeah. i watched this but <laughs> th- but again oh, yeah. that's because uh, subtly done kids etc if you make things a little bit too obvious with the purpose of opening a kid's mind to it then you know, like I understand you have to appeal to all audiences, but it's I'll give you an example, right? So that comes down to the directors before and yesterday. everything. Day before yesterday, I was chilling with my niece, right? Um, and we decided to go out, you know, treat them for like sweets and ice creams and all of that kind of a thing. We were, you know, we wanted to watch a movie. Unfortunately, we couldn't watch the movie, right? But anyways, while she was eating a freaking big ass bowl ice cream in front of her, right? Next minute, you know, she was having this. She like we were playing rock paper scissors because she's always want to play rock paper scissors. So we're like, okay, rock paper scissors, and she had her own thing going on. Just because I won. The word that came, the words that came out of her mouth was "what the." I'm like, yo, hold on a minute. Where the hell did you le-? like? In my head, I'm going, where did you get this phrase like come into you? Like, you never said this before. All of a sudden, you're saying "what the" for pretty much everything. That's you know, it doesn't go her way. Because they like, even though the whole sentence was "what the fuck," like what we know as like what we know that "what the." what the hell or whatever it is it's just the fact is that the starting point what the was just so embedded into her is they like 
how is she getting this kind of conversations going out there? Like, what? Where's? I'm, I mean, it goes to show that kids absorb everything around them. Mm -hmm. You get me? And they're molded. It's what's taught to them. Yeah, they're molded by the environment, like by parents, you know, their other friends and stuff. And that's why it's borderline. Like, it's that's why there's a big argument with it, right? Because Disney implementing certain certain ideas, right? Like, for example, imagine like I'll, I'll, I'll use my daughter as an example. Imagine my daughter. And hasn't been exposed to like LGBTQ plus and et cetera. She's still a little girl and whatnot. And then out of nowhere, I have her watch a Star Wars movie because I'm a huge Star Wars guy. I'm Windu, right? I watch Star Wars movies all the time. But then I'll I'll put I'll be playing one of the modern Star Wars movies, and then out of nowhere, towards the end of the film, she sees two girl pilots make out in the middle of the movie, and they're like, "Dad, uh, girls can kiss other girls." And it's like, well, you know what? Like, personally, I would rather her be more mature and she can always have this conversation with me. I would rather her be more mature before we would have to reach these conversations. Right. So that's why certain movies are like, hey, PG-13. Like if your kid isn't 13 or older, you probably shouldn't watch this, at least preteens, et cetera. Right. So, so check this out, Wendy. Check this out. Go ahead. And it's all about what you're you're taught. Right. So I was talking to my my sister in law. Uh, my wife's uh, sister and she was talking about she had an argument with this lady because she was saying that jesus christ uh was born in america and that he was white and my sister was always like no man i'm like listen it's the middle east from, yeah. from the the middle east he was brown you know like those people from the middle east he looked like that Bro, you know, you know no, like no, in no, this, no, no. It, it says it says that he was like in you know, a Mesopotamia, right? Mesopotamia as a whole is the Middle East. Like modern day Middle Mesopotamia is basically things like Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, or, you know, Arab countries that we class it as, right? So that, that's that's the modern day fucking Mesopotamia. Yeah. Like, but Joker, this lady, this lady, my sister-in-law was telling me like this lady was like fighting with passion saying that this is what she grew up on that jesus was american that that christianity because her belief is fact america because yes bro because she was taught by somebody else that had a huge influence over her life that was completely wrong so she passed down this lineage of ignorance and now she's that's what it really changes. is you know, and and this lady, this lady works at, at a school. My, my sister in law works at an elementary school. So now you have our kids, and so you drop them off there. They build that that trust and the rapport with our kids. Imagine them teaching them pure ignorance. And that's what's which going they do, on, bro. Which they do regardless of because of school books. But and go on. Yeah. That's a whole different conversation we can have later. Yeah, that's a whole different conversation. That's half of the fucking story. Exactly. That's a whole different podcast. You know, but it's the thing is that people are taught and they're taught incorrect things. So they grow up all confused and shit, man. And that's the whole the system that we're 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 living in is designed around that. It's confusion, man. They want to keep us fighting one another and and because it takes a real woman it takes a real man to make good decisions and carry this world into somewhere that's going to be a little bit more positive eh. it's going to take real people to figure can't out say what's that going anymore. on with the food shortage and shit but you can't say just the one man and one woman anymore because now there's science oh, so yeah. that's you know what i mean it's it's the same thing like yeah, i said dude, i have a fucking daughter i would be i don't know bro i'll have to catch a body because if i if my daughter went into a public restaurant it's like hey daddy i gotta go use the restroom and then behind her follows her some 350 pound man all jacked up or whatever oh i gotta use the restroom too but i identify as a woman fuck all that shit bro we got the same parts you need to use the boys restroom you know what i'm saying but you can't oh, do yeah. that anymore no you know so it's, it's all, yeah i was about to say that you know that would be a different conversation too but thought. yeah but i will say as far as it's that's what i'm saying like the the gray line there is very very large gray line because you have companies like disney that promote you can be whatever you want right imagination etc you get me so they become a staple for the belief of a lot of these individuals that feel neglected, ignored, etc. Like they and they're becoming the forefront as a company for all these arguments.
you know so it's one of those things that like hey like me personally as far as the sexuality and everything like whatever all those arguments you do you boo boo I, I know my choice i respect your choice whatever it may be right as far as what my child gets taught i still believe that as far as sexuality and everything right. that's down to the parent whether the parent makes a wrong choice or the right choice the proper choice a politically correct choice that's up to the parent you get me subliminal messages within movies media etc that's always going to happen unfortunately it's up to the parent to control that by all means but whenever you have a third party introducing these doctrines introducing these films a third party introducing their own personal opinions onto a child that's when it starts getting a little convoluted it's like hey like like we said regardless of how flawed the educational system is if you're here to teach my kid how to do math if you're here to teach my kid how to read that's where it should draw the line if you want to teach if you want to talk to individuals about how they should feel and what their sexuality and stuff you're in the wrong fucking profession go become a counselor or some shit like that yeah right. like by all means so and that's why you see the state of florida fight that so hard because that's the stance of the state of florida but then disney is fighting it saying like hey well because they've made put themselves in that position it's like hey they can't only be supported for lgbtq in this scenario they become the staple of they have to support LGBTQ plus in all scenarios, essentially. And that's why you see them fighting bills like that as far as, you know, in the state of Florida and what and the, the problem is, what does that mean for the other states? What does that mean in Europe? What does that mean in China? You get me? Yeah. Like, are they do are they only fighting stuff like that here in Florida because of the way that the American system is now? I don't I I haven't heard about them that's what I'm saying I haven't heard about them fighting stuff like that in in China or making it so public going up about against the Chinese government trying to introduce you know LGBTQ plus uh ideas and Chinese, mandates and Chinese stuff government Chinese would shut that shit down no just close the facility down be like you're no longer in our country you so are they all so are they only trying to do all that because they know that the United States is so fucking split up and they don't want to they don't want to offend people's feelings while simultaneously trying to stand for ideals that they're like hey low-key disney might end up running the united states at this fucking point as for, they they low-key already do we know the major companies low-key already run the united states but it's just like Let, let's ask joker i mean how how is the how is the lgbtq community um and the media what is their relationship like out there i mean it's just this i mean in america it's a it's a it's a similar situation but i wouldn't say to the extent of how it is now like do you know what i mean like the companies over here will not generally get influenced by a lot of things here especially because they feel like yo we just either try and support it and go full on or we'll just back out of it and just focus on what we need to do and that's what a lot of companies stand on right they will just focus on what they want to do and what kind of projects that they want to push forward and stuff like that whereas leaving all the because in europe i would say like mainly here doing those two things right is not a really good uh, pr for them do you know what I mean? It doesn't help them in any way. Do you know what I mean? So they will try and stay away from all these political talks and everything away from it. Just be like, yeah, man, this got nothing to do with me. It's your bullshit. You lot deal with it. It's mainly the LGBT community uh, over here is to do with like churches and, you know, the uh, politicians, certain politicians here and there that they will have a tough with. But other than that, they're not intruding any of us. They're not doing anything. They're not trying to push the agenda. It's only what we see is on the social media when there's a lot of, lot of black clashes here and there from the LGBTQ community and the LGBTQ community face backlash from the normal people too. Not just saying that it's, it's only one-sided. Do you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. if something doesn't make sense, they will fully head on, you know, try and resolve this situation over here. And... If these kind of things happen, like let's just say, because Disney is located in Paris, right? And if shit like that happens over there, I'm telling you right now, the French public 
right? And the government will not tolerate that shit point blank. You know what I mean? They're just like, yo, why you got to invite and try and, you know, manipulate our thoughts and shit like that? Because we have a whole different thing to worry about. Like we have- No, bro, you know what I think it is? It Here, I, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna end the, this episode on a spicy take, right? So we, we've talked about in the past before a little bit, how our world in general, it seems like there's a big portion that's moving towards this new world order men and women are all the same indistinguishable regardless of gender this and that whatever right and the united states has always been the forefront of progression the democratic government you know you get what i'm saying like etc i think that they are trying to get to that agenda more than anything and i think that they're going to use the united states as the puppets to show that hey a this new world where everybody is equal and and again i support it to a certain extent right this new world of everybody being equal everybody feeling whatever they want and you know like you could be whatever you want etc like this world can succeed and we're going to show it with the united states because the government of the united states the way that the united states was designed and is currently is arguably one of the only places in this entire planet that can actually support and allow a system like this to thrive right based off of the laws that we've implemented so I'll, I'll end it there i think that's really what's going on i think disney's trying to be the like forefront of this entire movement and they're in they're using their influence in the united states to do so because they know that this is the place where it, the only the only real place that it can actually happen in the next hundred years propaganda can right? work yeah so let us know down in the comments below what you guys think about this entire podcast episode i know it's been a little bit spicy here and there um we do we really do read all the comments we appreciate it if a video gets enough comments and enough interesting topic points like you can counter argue with us in the comments and everything but if there are enough comments to a video we will make a follow-up video or a continued conversation based off of those comments so let us know down below know what you would like to talk about next true or in general just great ideas that you would like us to hit up on and you you know you just want to see us go at it so to speak as far as these subjects but also leave a like that does help the youtube algorithm share this video with everybody that you're you know that that you know quite frankly because you never know who might be interested in these videos but lastly it's not just a video for those of you that don't know all these episodes are in podcast form we're already on spotify slowly spreading to other uh, pl audio platforms we're working on google we're working on apple etc so look for us there also we like we said radio? Uh, we're on iheart radio officially for sure so just share share these this podcast with everybody we're actually growing at a pretty decent rate and we appreciate everybody that subscribed follows and views and everything subscribe the show spotify and on Spotify, please just leave us a review. Yes. Um, follow, follow on all the platforms helps, and review. That helps yes, out a bunch for sure. And I appreciate you all for taking the time to actually listen to that podcast, man. And um, from the last um, analysis that I checked on the video, I can see that a lot of um, you know you viewers have been actually sitting down for the majority proportion of the podcast, a good amount, listening to it, yes. good amount. And so I appreciate you all for this, um, you know. Yes. And also, I love the fact that you guys are freely you know commenting on the youtube and we are taking notice of it so yes, yes. like windu said please leave a comment and give us your hot take on it and we do have a discord too so if you do want to pop in that discord feel yeah. free to pop in the discord chat with us in discord we're all you know we're always most of us are always active on there but if you did make it to the end of the video in the comments man just leave a small winky face do it so that way we know we were you know that way if you see the winky face emoji you know that they made it yeah yeah, yeah. the ods my friends and our family for hitting me up subscribing everybody else join them appreciate every yep. single one of y'all we appreciate everybody that's supporting for sure but yeah guys we're gonna end it we're already a little bit past the hour here tune into the next episode check out the last one that we did as well that one was a bit spicy we talked about uh, shootings in general, the cra crazy kind of thing that's been kind of rampant here in the United States and doesn't really happen over towards the UK side. So definitely check that out. Uh, as far as the next video, I guess you're just going to have to wait and see what we talk about.
Uh, Peace. Much love, homies. Peace. Don't forget to wipe. Peace. <laughs> 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 <laughs>